Hi, my name is Mark Jerica. I'm with the City of Bryan's Code Enforcement Department. I want to thank you for taking time to learn about our department, the case types that we work, and the actions we take to solve violations and complaints within the city. Ordinances are local laws that are adopted by a city council. They essentially are the do's and don'ts for everyday life in the city. Code enforcement uses ordinances to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of our citizens are protected. Our five most common violations are signs, junk vehicles, unapproved parking, trash and debris, and weeds and grass. Since we're on the topic of weeds and grass, let's look what goes into this case. Grass or weeds higher than 12 inches are deemed a public nuisance. Owners of properties in violation will receive a notice allowing seven days to bring the property in compliance. The city will correct the violation by cutting the grass if the owner fails to act within the time allotted. The city's initial response is valid for one year after issuance. If the violation repeats, the city can correct it without sending another notice. The property owner is responsible for paying all costs associated with the service, plus an administration fee of $100. A citation will be issued to the property owner each time the city is required to correct the violation. The city will place a lien on the property for all bills not paid. Probably one of the more visible violations, but misunderstood violations, is junk vehicles. Let's take a look at this case and how it's worked. Motor vehicles that are inoperable and are partially dismantled and are located on public property for more than 72 hours or private property for more than 30 consecutive days are considered junk vehicles. Owners of these vehicles and all lien holders will be notified of the violation through certified mail. The vehicle will be towed and turned over for salvage if the owner fails to repair the junk vehicle or remove it from the property. Another unsightly violation in town are signs, particularly signs in the right of way those that you find on utility poles are stuck in the ground at curbside. Placement of signage in the public right-of-way, power poles, on light poles, and other public property is a violation. Another common violation you may see driving through a neighborhood is unimproved parking. This is just a fancy term of saying a car parked on the grass. Let's explore how we handle this case type. Brian Code requires vehicles, trailers, and boats to be parked on an improved surface composed of asphalt, concrete, or gravel. Parking or storing of such items on the front or side yard of a residence is a violation. Unapproved parking is allowed in the rear yard of a residence and in the areas which are zoned commercial and industrial. Rule of thumb, if you question it's a violation, call us. We all have stuff, and we all like our stuff, but sometimes our stuff can get out of hand. When you see large accumulations of trash and materials on the outside of a house, this is when we use the trash and debris ordinance. Let's talk about how this case is handled. Allowing garbage, trash, appliances, furniture to be stored in plain view are examples of nuisances. Owners of properties in violation will receive a notice allowing them seven days to bring the property into compliance. The city will correct the violation by removing the trash from the property if the owner fails to act within the time allotted. The city's initial response is valid for one year after issuance. If the violation repeats, the city can correct it without sending another notice. When it comes to code enforcement, the rule of thumb is the violation must be seen from a public place. That could be a street, that could be a sidewalk. People have a right to privacy and we must abide by laws that protect people's rights. Code officers must respect an individual's right to privacy. A search warrant issued by the court or obtaining permission by the property owner is needed to investigate violations behind a privacy fence or screen from public view. State law governs the city's actions in these case types. Visit the city's website to learn more on these requirements. Thank you for taking time to learn more about code enforcement and the job that we do. We're proud of Brian, we're proud of the job that we do, and we're here to help. For more information, give us a call at 209-5900 or look us up on the City of Brian's webpage.